Welcome back YouTubers, this is going to be a review of the Transformers Studio Series 1986 Scourge from Transformers the Movie and the adjoining third season. Now as you can see, this Transformer is a giant space surfboard. <laughs> this is the most accurate one I've ever seen. It's better than the one from the Titan's Return in my opinion. And it comes with a blaster as well as this little particle effect you can attach here or to the top here because the sweeps could, as well as Scourge, could fire a blast from there. Now, you're going to have trouble finding this one because, as you might have guessed from when I said the sweeps, Scourge wasn't alone. He had an army of clones of him. Self. He also has this little ability to talk out of here, which was in the movie. Don't remember it much from the series. But anyway, let's get to the box. First, as you can see, standard Studio Series container, but the insert is the nice part. Because this one comes with the reformatting of Thundercracker, the blue seeker, the original Decepticon jet, into this guy. Now, you'll notice the two Insecticons in the background, Shrapnel and Kickback. They were reformatted into the sweeps, or at the very least, some of the mindless Insecticon clones they produced. It is possible, especially since there were animation errors even in the movie. Shrapnel, for example, showed up later in the film. So, it's entirely possible that the ones that were reformatted were, in fact, drones. But that's neither here nor there. Now for the headpiece, this is a little tricky. Got to fold this down and lock it up here, and then fold this segment in like this. An additional challenge is that when you take it out, this piece gets stuck in, so you may have to do some jiggery pokery in order to make it fit in properly. Now, this piece folds down like this to create the back. His arms unclip from his sides. They're actually the easiest part of the whole transform. Flip out the feet pegs. And there you have Scourge, the Tracker, as, Gal as Unicron referred to him. Now, he's going to be a hard one to find due to the fact that he's an army builder figure, as you're going to see people buying up multiples for the sweeps. Especially because there were two additional sweeps in the movie at first, but a third one showed up in the next scene with Cyclonus's second very copy missing. Plus, even more sweeps throughout the series, leading credence to some people's theories that the sweeps were the cloned Insecticons, and they inherited their ability to duplicate, creating an army of semi-intelligent but fairly dumb drones to be commanded by Scourge here. In fact, in the IDW comic series, the first one, they were just mindless drones, no smarter than a Turbo Fox, a very dumb Cybertronian life form. But anyway, that's this figure for now. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and share this video with your friends, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!